Head injuries are a reality when it comes to contact sports. Coming up, why a trip to the dentist may limit the risk of concussions. All right, we think of dentists as people who take care of our teeth, which they do, but uh, did you know they can also play a key role in athletics when it comes to limiting concussions? Generally speaking, annually, four to five million reported concussions happen. And these are the ones who get reported. Dr. Kami Haas is the founder of the Super Dentists. And he points out that concussions aren't always the result of a blow to the top of the head. I want you to know that your whole face, your whole head, is really the top part, which is your brain, but also your whole mouth. It's not just the part that holds your teeth together. The upper jaw goes all the way under your eyes, covers your nose, and the mandible is the whole bottom jaw. So really your jaws, it's two-thirds of your face. He reminds us that contact to the jaw or mouth area can also lead to a concussion. I think that should be a no-brainer for any parents. We should really, really take this very seriously because we get so many injuries to the mouth and to the brain. And while dentists are in the business of taking care of those pearly whites, a mouthpiece is now part of their repertoire. Studies show that when you have a custom mouth guard, it's at least twice as effective in reducing concussions. Uh, because, uh, not to mention that, because not only it fits better and it protects your teeth better, but also it's more comfortable because the patients are actually going to wear it more. They're having a wellness fair tomorrow. They'll have free fittings uh, for kids, uh, sports screenings and stuff like that. Uh, I felt bad for my little role model there, the guy in the chair. He had to put that goop. <laughs> <laughs> goop in the, uh, goop in the, he's a good sport. Well, he'll get a mouthpiece out He'll of get it. a free mouth guard. Yeah, nice. Custom made. Yeah, custom made. <laughs> Thank you, Steve.